Given a simply linked list, can you reverse it using both iterative and recursive ways? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through another very classic lead code or interview question, which is lead code number 206, a reverse linked list. Very classic interview question, reverse a simply linked list. Example, given one, two, three, four, five now, Reverse it back to the output is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 now. Follow up. A linked list can be reversed either iteratively or recursively. Could you implement both? Of course, we're going to talk about both solutions. Number one, let's talk about the iterative way. How can we do this using simple plain procedural code? Let's take a look. Suppose this is the linked list that we are given. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then now. How can we use an iterative solution to go through this? First, we were only given the hat, the, the node, the hat node of this linked list. That's the only node that we have access to. Actually, for simply linked list, it's usually we are only given a hat. You only have access to the hat node. The rest of the node you have to traverse through uh, from its predecessor, you get to its successor. That's how you have access to every single node, right? So take a look here. In the API that we were given, the parameter is only hat node. That's it. Okay. How can we reverse it? So the output of this by calling after calling our function should be 4, 3, 2, 1, and now. That's it. How can we do that? This is the code. I'll put the code out here first, and then we'll think about why the code is written this way, how it actually the code flows behind the scenes. Let's take a look. One step at one step at a time, and we'll do it. We'll do this iteratively, meaning we'll iterate on every single node. Let's see. First, we'll initialize a previous node. This is the node that we're going to return. Okay, we'll get into that in the very end. You'll see how we return that, the previous node. First, we'll initialize two nodes. One, we'll call it previous node. Another node we'll initialize, we'll just, we'll just call it current node, which stands for the current node that we are iterating on. At very in the very beginning, we'll assign hat to the current node because that's where the starting point is. We'll get into the while loop. The while loop is where the iteration happens. So here there this linked list has four nodes, so the iteration will happen four times. Let's take a look. So we get into the first iteration. We'll call it iteration one, step one. What's the first step? The first step will create a temporary node. Remember this temporary node next its lifespan, its scope is only within this while. So every single time when we get out of, we finished executing these four lines, this, this next variable is gone. It's out of the call stack. Okay, this is the first line. We initialize a temp variable called next. This is the next one that we are currently, that where the current node is pointing at. Why do we initialize this one? That is because we want to get, we want to have a temp variable to hold the next node where we are changing its pointer to. Let's see. After this, it's safe because we have initialized a variable called next to hold every single element. Remember, in the singular linked list, you only have access to one node at one point of time. If you want to have if, if you want to access any other node, you have to go through that node, right? If you want to access three, you have to go through two. So we create a temp variable called next to hold this variable. At this point, we have access. We still have access to the rest of this linked list. So it's very safe to break out this link. So we just cut off this link. So what this line, that what this second line in the while loop in the iteration does is that it's cutting off this link. Instead of how do we, how does it cut it off? It's just going to reassign the previous node to this hat next. This is the current node. Current node next is going to be pointed towards previous. This is what this line is doing. So that this current node next is pointing towards the correct one. Remember, we have to reverse every single node. How do we do that? This is the second step. Third step will change previous node to be current node. So previous node is not this one anymore. Remember, we'll have to reverse this node. This is the, a now node. Remember, we initialized the previous to be now. Previous node will always, will always be reassigned to current node so that and current node, 
the fourth step this is step three here this is step three here step four is well we'll assign next to current that's the whole point that we keep a next node here this is a temporary variable, right why do we keep this because well after we do all of the operations for the head node the current node then we can reassign the next node to be the current node for the next iteration so at this point this linked list is is broken apart into two parts one is a previous node right now previous node is one it, it only has one node its next pointer is pointing towards a now and the current node is here two so this is this is done we're done with the first iteration and then we'll continue to the second iteration meaning it will continue to check whether the while loop still holds if it holds it, it's going to go through these four steps again let's take a look continue iteration two it will start and then it will create a new next node this next node this next node the current node right now is two so current dot next is three is the node with value three so now this is the next node we'll continue to do the same step two cut this off and then assign the current nodes next to previous right so this is the previous and this is the current previous node and assign this one to this current nodes next so that this link is cut off and then we'll change previous node now this is the new previous node which is this one the node with value 2 this previous node is from last iteration at this current iteration which is iteration 2 the node with value 2 should be previous and then at this point current node at this point current node and both current node and previous node they are both pointing at the node with value 2 we only need previous node to be pointing at 2 current node should be moving on which is this is the will assign next to current so that the iteration could continue to go on okay now we're done with iteration 2 iteration 2 is done uh, this is the current state now this entire linked list is headed by two nodes one is previous node here the other is the current node the other the other linked list is headed by the current node all right we're done with iteration 2 now we'll continue we'll start with iteration 3 continue to do this assign create a new temp variable to hold current.next current.next which is the new next and then what we'll do is broken this link how do we break it we'll assign this previous node to the current node next to just reassign current node pointer so that this link is broken the new link is created and then we'll change previous node this is the new previous node by assigning the current current node the current curve into the previous node so that this is the new previous node and this is going to become the new current node done this is iteration three is done then this is the current status of the two of, of the original one singly linked list broken apart into two linked lists headed by the node with value three and headed by the node with value four you see what very so this entire part you see it's singly linked list and three is the head node next one is two next one is one next one is now which is the correct position right the order is correct we only need to reverse the last node which is the node with value four exactly the same we just continue with this iteration iteration four step one create a new next node which is this one then broken a break this link by assigning its next node by assigning its next pointer to the node with value three which is the previous node that's what this line is doing and then change the previous node to the current node this is the new previous node last step will point curve to the next node which is now then we're done with the last iteration iteration four then it will continue to try to continue to within the iteration then it's going to check whether current equals to now at this point current equals to now so it's not going to coming in right then we're just going to return previous node boom we're done this is the entire iteration this is how the iterative solution works time complexity is just a o n n is the number of nodes in this given linked list space complexity is just o one now let's put this algorithm into the actual code let's try to hit submit and see so first 
let me just copy this link to list a list node uh, what we'll have is a previous node this one is going to be initialized as now next one is hat which we're going no we'll call it current and assign hat to it to let it begin with and then we'll check as long as current not equals to now what we'll do is we'll initialize a next variable this one is going to be current dot next so at this point we we have a temporary variable that holds the the next the next node so we're safe to break the the current link and assign the previous the previous node to it at this point previous node is now which is correct and then we'll change the current node to be previous node Oh no, we'll change the previous node to be the current node, and then we'll change the current node to be next, which means we're moving the current node towards the right. And then we'll keep iterating on this. Then at, in the end, we'll just return previous. That's it. Now let's hit submit and see. All right, accepted. 100%. I believe this number is pretty random. Let me just hit submit again, because this is very uh, optimal solution. No, right now it's 88 it it's only 0.2 megabytes difference so if this video helps you to understand how the iterative solution works for reversing a synced linked list and feel free to pause the video at any moment so that you can better understand how the iterative solution really works please just drop me a like i'm going to really appreciate it make sure you subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell notification remember this is only the iterative solution there is going to be in another video to go through the recursive solution for reversing a single linked list thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next one